So today, many people with blindness or low vision rely on audio narration from their friends, family, or the radio to experience sports. Uh, the problem is those solutions can't communicate spatial details like where the ball is or where the players are. You know, things that are often easy to see but very challenging to describe. The real pain point is if you're a blind or low vision fan at a stadium, the crowd reacts and then you find out what happens through the radio. They always feel like they're behind the action. They can hear what's happening, but you know everyone's already cheering when somebody scores a, a touchdown, but they have no idea until somebody tells them, right? I found it one court after observing a blind man at a soccer match. He was sitting there in the stands with a sighted woman who watched the game below and simultaneously moved his hands across a game board to represent the action in the field. So it was through touch that he was able to gain access, and I started thinking about how technology and design and user experience could play a role in kind of replicating that experience for people. At one court, we're working to make live sports more accessible for people with visual impairments. So we represent those details through vibration, so people can actually watch the game with their fingertips. So it's a custom hardware device. We basically use these haptic motors to show where the ball or where the player is, just like you would on a screen with a tablet, but instead it's with touch. It's really important that we're able to translate that information very quickly, and 5G can help us do that. That's one of the great things we have here working with T-Mobile is that we have access to a 5G network now, and that's gonna give us the latency that we need to be able to actually take live sports data and translate into a haptic language fast enough so that the people using the device don't feel like they're left behind. As an early startup, we don't have all of the tools, we don't have all of the resources we need to really make a difference. So having partners like here at T-Mobile, it's crucial for our development and it makes things easier. There's a lot of really bright people here that have been doing this for years. And so to be able to work with them to get our device to market, I think that's really what we're gonna get out of this experience.